Hello and welcome back to my channel Web and Apps with Edith. Today the topic is about HTML frames and frame set type. HTML frames helps us to divide the page into multiple parts. You can in each part display different look and feel for your page. As you can see over here, I have put a layout where you can see the page is divided into four sections and each four section can have different data to be displayed. So let's see what exactly is frames and frame set that. So let's get started as frames. Frames split the web page into different regions for more clarity and accessibility to the user. So we don't have to move from one page to another on the same page itself from one section to the another section. We can see the data as it is coming up to make frames. First, we must define a frame set using the frame set tag. Now, this is a tag which is a container tag. So you need to close this tag. So this is a frame set tag which is coming along with one more tag that is called as frames tag. So inside the frame set, you will have an attribute which is like a column or a row based on that which pattern you want to divide your page into is mentioned in the form of columns and row. Same way inside that you will be having a frame tag. Inside the frame tag, you will have an attribute with the frame tag that is SRC. Joe! Inside the frame set tag, you will have a frame tag which will have an attribute called as SRC. That is the source of the frame. So we'll be seeing that ahead. So using this tag, we can specify how many frames we want and what is the layout of these frames. Then we can define the property of each frame using the frame tag. Now frame tag is a standalone tag. So we don't need to have a closing tag, but the frame set tag is needing a closing tag. So frame tag is nested inside the frame set tag. So frame tag will be coming inside of the frame set tag. What is a frame set tag? The frame set tag defines how to divide the window into frames. So frame set tag will help us to divide our browser window into multiples of pages or partition, which we call as frames. So this is what we call as frames. Column wise, you can do it in the row wise and even in the multiple parts. Like if you divide your page into column and then you subdivide it into that is also possible using a frame set tag. Each frame set defines a set of rows or columns. So you need to mention how many rows and columns your page should be divided as. The value of the row and column indicate the amount of screen area each row column will occupy. In the row and the column, you mention a value which could be in the form of pixels or a percentage. So when you give the value, it tells how much percentage of your screen area has to be used for this. One important thing to be followed in this, you cannot use the body tag with the frame set tag because we very well know body tag whatever we write inside the body tag is displayed on the browser page now what we are doing we are dividing the page into multiples of frames so since it's frame you cannot write anything in the body if you write then your frame will not be shown in the frame format it will not even append on your screen so it is important not to use body with the frame set tag attributes that go with the frame set tag we have an attribute called as column and we have an attribute called as row. And as I said, we give a pixel and we give a percentage. We can always give an asterisk also. Asterisk is sometimes used when we don't want to give the exact division. Then we can give it as an asterisk. It defines the number and size of columns in a frame set. In the rows, it defines the number and the size of the rows. Format to write the tag. Tag is written using frame set. So we will first write frame set. 
after frame set what you want to write whether it's column or in row so for example if i am writing columns equal to double quotes we'll write the percentage value so right now i'm giving like 50 percentage and i close my double quotes and i close my frame set tab and we know it's a container tag so we need to have a frame set tag closing as well this will divide my page this is my browser page it will divide my page to exact half so a demo of using these tags with the example will be coming up in my next video this is about frame set tags with with columns and row and we also know that there has to be a frame tag under frame set tag so what are the attributes that come with the frame with the frame tag so here we have frame tag with the numerous attributes with it so the first is a frame border the value is zero specifies whether or not to display a border around the frame the margin height that also is in the form of pixel values which defines the top and the bottom margin in the frame same way is the width it defines the left and the right margin in the frame then we have an attribute called as name which is the value as a frame name it defines a unique name for the frame this is needed when you have to do an alignment or a framing connection in the same page itself. So since you are dividing your page into multiple parts and you need to give a name to each section, that naming is done with the name attribute. Place something onto the page, it becomes easy to find out what will be the name of the frame. Same way, you have no resize. When set to no resize, the user cannot resize the frame. Though you have divided the frame into part, you can still use your mouse and drag the frame. But if you give no resize, then to which frame you have given no resize, that frame cannot be enlarged. Same way for the scrolling. If you give an yes, a scroll bar will be available onto your page if your data is uh, more than the browser page if you say no the scroll bar will not appear even if the data is more and if you don't mention anything that means it's an auto it will detect by itself then the most important thing is src where you need to mention the url of the page this defines the url of the file to show in the frame so that's what i said we will be writing frame src equal to the particular page that we want to be displayed exactly are we going to write so first we'll be having html head and everything inside that we'll be having a frame set tag so we'll be writing frame set if we want it as rows we'll write row if we write it as columns then we'll have to write it as columns so now i give it as columns and i give it equivalent to 50 percent and I say 30% and the remaining obviously we can calculate it will come 20% if you don't want to give it as 20% we give it as asterisk and we close the frame set tag then we know that we need to have a closing also so we need to give a frame set closing in between this this is only doing the work of dividing your page into column of for example now this is 50 then this is this is 50 percent this is 30 percent and this is the remaining asterisk since we gave it as column it will divide my page into column now i have to give something to be displayed over here once you give this the partition won't be visible until and unless you give a value for the frame so the value for the frame comes using frame tag followed by src that's the source of the file so you need to mention what url of the file that you want to display over here so you need to mention the url of the file so when you give frame now you have your three section that you have divided so you need to give thrice frame src and specific url that you want it to display frame src thrice you will be writing and you will be mentioning that url what you want to display 
then this particular thing will be visible on the browser because now it has got the data that it has to display onto my page along with the frame data learn the attribute that is called as name so we can give like name as a inside double quotes so this is a skeleton of a frame set where we'll be using frame set with columns or rows and we'll be closing the frame set as a container tag inside that we need to write frame with the source so that we know what exactly has to come up on my frame so we need to write the url and if you want to use that frame or use that frame section for appending something then you need to give the name for it and similarly the number of divisions it is you will have to write that many frame src so this is about frame set and frame hope you liked my video thank you for watching do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you